Hey what's up guys, in today's video we are going to be creating this cool 3D pop out effect inside HitFilm Express. Now to get started you will need a image editing program like GIMP, Photoshop or Affinity Photo and you have to separate your foreground from the background. So you can see that this was the original image and I have separated the foreground from the background and then I used the clone stamp tool to fill in the empty space. It's not perfect, but I highly suggest you to do it as best as you can. Just for the sake of this tutorial, I did this really quick. It didn't took me a long time. Uh, and as you can see, the result looks really crappy. But you just take your time with this. And once you have the image, just make sure that you export the background as a JPG image and export the foreground. In this case, this girl over here, export this as a PNG image so that we retain the transparency. And once you do that, then you have to open up HitFilm Express and import these two images inside HitFilm. Create a new composite shot and let's start with our foreground. I'm gonna type in foreground. Let's make this 10 second long, 1920, 1080, 30 FPS and click on OK. Uh, let's bring in this image. Uh, there is our foreground image and we're gonna repeat the process for our background. So let's create a new comp and call it background. Click on OK and drag in the background image. Now let's merge these two together in a different composite shot. So let's create a new composite shot and call it main and click on OK. Let's bring in this foreground comp and the background comp as well. All right, so the background is at the bottom and the foreground is at the top. Now on on both of these layers, we're going to select these and turn these into 3D. So it'll ask you to add a camera and click on yes to add a camera. And on this camera, let's just select that, expand it, go to transform. And on the position, I'm just going to like increase this value so that I'll just move my camera away from this, these two images. So maybe around there is fine. Now the next step is to select the foreground composite shot. And we want the anchor point of this composite chart to be at the bottom. So I'm going to expand this, go to transform and change the anchor point value. So I'm going to just make sure it's at the bottom. You can just zoom in and be precise with this. Negative 540 is perfect. So I can just copy this and paste it in the position. And I'm going to press enter key on the keyboard. And you can see that it just brings it back in the center. All right. So now that's done. Next step is to create a new point layer, make it 3D and paint into your camera to the new point layer. All right, so uh, now we can animate our image. So before we do that, let's check out this foreground layer. And if we just, if we just go to new point and change it, like change the rotation and the rotation Y, you can see that nothing really happens. There is no 3D effect going on. And the reason is because if we go to foreground and go to transform and if we change the rotation X and we change it to a different amount like negative 20. Um, now you can see that if we go back to our rotation X and Y and if we change it, you're going to notice we have this 3D effect in our photos. So you need to do the same thing with the foreground just make sure that you change the rotation set this to negative 20 if you want more 3d depth you can just set this to negative 30 and uh, it should be all ready for this 3d animation so you can go back to your new point layer and create your animation so you can just let's let me just reset this rotation x and y you can just right click and click on reset or command R or control R if you're on Windows. So I'm gonna do this on both X and Y so that it resets. And you're gonna see that it just squashes your image, image a bit when you change the angle of your foreground comp. And in order to comp compensate that, we can go back to our new point and change the, to play around with the rotation X until we get the result uh, as it was before. So around negative 10 looks fine. Um, and I'm going to start with that. So I'm going to create a keyframe on rotation X and rotation Y as well. You can also create a keyframe on position. I'm just going to keep it simple X and Y. Let's move forward to maybe around two second and uh, change the way it looks. So I can just make it negative. Let's do 30 and you can change the rotation Y as well. 
so let's make this 10 so if we see this animation it's gonna look something like that you can see that we have this nice pop out effect and we can go to let's go to the end and I'm going to just you know change the rotation Y and I'm gonna make it negative 10 okay so it goes from there and it slowly has this animation going on in the photos and that looks really nice uh, as I said before you can animate the position as well so create a keyframe and you can move forward in time and let's create the same keyframe go back and just you can just position it anywhere that you want so you can see that I'm moving my mouse to the right and the image is going to the left it's basically the values have been inverted so just keep that in mind so we have this simple animation and you can select all these keyframes and convert the keyframes to manual bezier so yeah that is pretty much it that's how we can create this 3d pop out slideshow animation and you can create a new plane layer and call this solid or bg whatever you want to call it give it a different color give it white and just reduce the brightness to around 80 percent so that it's a slightly grayish and i'm going to move it to the bottom and we have a background as well now on the background composite shot you can go to effects and search for drop shadow and apply it on to the composite shot and on the drop shadow you can you can increase the distance and also increase the penumbra value so something like that and you can see it really improves your animation and gives that 3d kind of look to it so that is pretty much it guys i hope you like this video uh, i hope you enjoyed it as much as i enjoyed making it uh, if you did then please make sure you like the video and also subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one